Alrighty, welcome back to another Porsche Car Whisperer video. My name is Mason Gilcrest, and today we're gonna make a little bit of a shorter video. I'm gonna start doing some small tutorials just about your Porsche and small like little technical items that you may have questions about as far as brakes. If you guys have any suggestions, if you actually wanna leave them down there in the comments and I'll try to uh, accommodate all the different uh, ideas that you guys have. This week, we're gonna go over the story that your VIN number tells. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off as to why they started making VINs for cars. Well, as far as a VIN number, it has to do with almost kind of like a fingerprint that's gonna be unique to each vehicle and to make sure that there's no type of fraudulent activities that are happening with your car. Let's go ahead and talk about where you'll find the VIN on your Porsche. Well, so the most common spot is gonna be right up here in the windshield. Each VIN is gonna be 17 digits long and it's gonna be unique to that particular vehicle. There's several other spots that you'll also find your VIN number. There's also gonna be a big sticker that's either gonna be on the door or in the door jam as you're hopping into your vehicle. Also gonna be a barcode that's associated with this sticker, build date, vehicle weight, and so forth. On some of these newer vehicles, you'll also find the VIN under the hood or under the trunk, either engraved into the chassis of the car or via a sticker. So let's go ahead and start as to what the first digit means in your Porsche VIN. Okay, so we're on the inside of the driver's door jam. As you can see, this is that sticker I was talking about that has any type of valuable information for your car. It's gonna be a barcode, your VIN, uh, as well as the weight of the car. The production date's gonna be up here in the upper right hand corner. Now let's go ahead and get into what that first digit means on your Porsche. So for the W, it's actually gonna be for the country code. So any cars that are gonna be coming out of German manufacture, that's gonna be starting with a W. Now the P, that's what's important. That stands for Porsche. Now the zero or the one that you'll see as the third digit is gonna cover either a sports car or an SUV. In this case, this Boxster Spider here is gonna have a zero as that third digit. Now the fourth digit has to do with the model type. Could be A, B, C, that's gonna to have to go with if the car is either a coupe, cabriolet, SUV, and that'll change from year to year. Fifth digit of the VIN, that's gonna cover the engine type. It's either gonna be A, B, C, or D, just like for the fourth digit, but this is gonna tell us what type of engine it has, and that's gonna vary from year to year as well, so it'll be a little bit different on each vehicle. Now with the sixth digit of your Porsche VIN, it's gonna cover if the car has a restraining system or not, and if it's active or if it's passive. All of the street cars are gonna have a two, which means it's a passive restraint system. It's the seven and eighth digits, that's gonna be the model type. Now this started in 1981 and went all the way till 2009. For example, if you have a 997, these two digits will be 99. If you have a 986, it'll be 98. Now they've changed that in recent years, starting from 2010 and onward. It'll start with either an A or even a Y that's gonna be for the Taycan. So that's gonna change up that VIN numbering system. Now for rest of world vehicles, some of these items are gonna be a little bit different. On the rest of world cars, which are all the countries that are not USA, Canada, Mexico, Japan, or Switzerland, they may still use that 99 or 9X variant for their VIN numbers. The ninth digit is a check digit that's the function of the NHTSA here in the United States that is used to prevent fraudulent VINs. There may be other regulations in other countries that may not be the NHTSA. Moving along to the tenth digit, this one's pretty important. That's going to go with the model year. So for example, start with L in 1990 and it's gonna move along to all the way, going through the alphabet all the way to Y to 2000. Then in 2001, we started going with digits. 
from 2001, it started with one, all the way up until 2009, ending with a nine. And that's gonna be for your 10th digit of your Porsche VIN. That's gonna let us know what year the car actually is. The 11th digit, that's gonna be where your Porsche was produced. There's several different plants that these cars are actually produced in. It's gonna either be an N, which is gonna stand for Nextrolum, S for Stuttgart or Zuffenhausen, U is gonna be out of Finland, that was only for the 987 models. L is gonna be for Leipzig. K is gonna be for Osnabrück. And D is for Bratislava. That's where the Cayennes are now produced. And that's gonna be in Slovakia. The 12th digit, that's gonna go hand in hand with the seven and eighth digits. And after that, all the remaining digits are gonna be your particular series number for your Porsche. So that's what makes the car very, very unique. For example, this 2016 Boxster Spider could have the exact same VIN as another Boxster Spider. However, the last five digits are what's gonna help that car have its own particular fingerprint. All the other digits may be the same, but it's the last five that's actually the series number for your Porsche. I hope I was able to give you guys just a little bit of insight as to how special your VIN is to your Porsche, as well as be able to tell you guys what each digit means in your VIN. If you guys have any suggestions for videos, if you want to just leave them down in the comments below, I'll try to accommodate as many of the suggestions as I can so you guys can learn more about your Porsche. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching these videos. If you want to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down there in the corner. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. or small like little technical videos on like how to work certain parts of your Porsche. So let's go ahead and get started with this week's VIN. No, damn it. No worries. It was all going pretty well till then. It's called a check digit. Now that helps with any type of fraudulent activity that may be happening to your car. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm having a blast. Are ready? Okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. One, one feet to the side. So, there you go. I'm, I'm actually 